Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Today I want to give you my first impressions of a brand new knife that I just got in. Just came in. I just picked it up today. And it is the Spidacol Pole Star. Spidacol Pole Star. It is an addition, a new addition to the Spidacol economy knives. Remember the economy knives, the resilience, the persistence, the tenacious, the ambitious. And just earlier this year, Spidacol also released another addition to the economy uh, set of knives. And that was the Spidaco Efficient right here. And the one thing that the Efficient did, it had the same steel as all the others, 8CRL, I'm sorry, 8CR13MOV steel. But one thing it introduced was that 50-50 choil. None of the other economy knives have that and a little rounder base. But again, this fills in one of the holes that were left in the entire series. I'll show you the entire series at the end of this video. But now the second edition this year, again, 2017, I'm so happy Spydeco did that. They haven't refreshed the economy knives in a long time. And the economy knives have a special place in my heart. That's where I started collecting. Those were the first good in quotation knives that I ever bought. And I started with the persistence and then I collected the entire set and I used them a lot. I cut myself at least 150 times on those knives. It was my first time with those knives. It was the entry drug <laughs> to knife collecting. Now I have over 400 knives and over 300 spidacles because I just fell in love with them. So I was so happy. I love the new and improved Spydecos. I'm a huge fan. Last year, 2016, I set out to buy every single Spydeco folding knife released in 2016 because 2016 was their 40th anniversary. Oh man, they released a whole bunch of knives. I have a video of me buying all those knives I show you all the knives released in 2016. It was an epic year. But I'll tell you, I'm excited about all the flippers they're going to present in 2017 and all the new knives they're bringing back as sprint runs. But nothing makes me more happier than the efficient knives. Nothing makes me more than these this economy values uh, series because I think it's so important. If you watch my videos and you may drool over some of the knives, but you don't have to go broke. Don't go broke. Look at the value knives of Spydeco. And right now with the addition of the Polestar, there are six value knives. So begin your collecting. Save up for one of these knives. Play with them. <laughs> have fun. Use them. And then you can work your way up to even bigger collections. Let's talk about the Pole Star. The Pole Star is different. It it doesn't give you that extra forward choil, but it does give you two new things. Three really gives you a new size blade, 3.3 inches to fill in some space in that lineup. And since we're talking about the blade, that's the other huge change in this economy value knife from Spydeco, and that's the steel. These knives, the value knives are made in China to keep the price super low. And all of the other knives had 8CR13 MOV steel. Spydeco, however, for the Polestar shipped American-made BD-1 steel. American-made CTS BD-1 steel over to China and had them put American steel on this. Now again, that's not an expensive steel, but it just retains an edge just a little bit better. Easy to sharpen, just a nice steel, and it's American-made, so they shipped it to China 
chipped American steel to China. The third big change on this is of course the G10. It's gray G10. And what they did was something a little different. They put like this grid right below the first layer of G10. It looks great and you can almost feel it. You can't though, you can't. It's still G10, but just has this wonderful feel to it. For an inexpensive knife, for an inexpensive G10 knife, it does give it a little bit more pizzazz than the black G10 on all the other knives. Like all the other knives, you can move the clip four ways, tip up, tip down, left or right. I like that. If this is your first knife, or if this is one of your collections as you collect these value folders, it's good. Test. Don't just listen to YouTubers who say, I love tip up, I love tip up, I love tip down, I love tip down. You try it. Move the clip around. Play around with it. See through construction, easy to keep clean. Choil on the back. And of course, like all the other knives, it has that longer, distinct Spydeco leaf blade. I'm real happy about this. I, I, you know, I love all the people who collect and make videos of knives. I'm subscribed to almost all of them. I admire them on Instagram and stuff. I don't think as a community we talk to people who haven't gotten into the collecting life enough. They were so talking, trying to prove how smart we are, that we forgot that any kind of collecting community, there are people just starting out and they deserve some help. And so I hope that my videos aren't too snooty ooty so that you get a chance to look at knives and compare them. But I also want to recommend the economy series. And hey, if you could start, save up some money and start with the Polestar, this would be a great start to any Spydeco collection. And then again, remember they just released the Efficient. I like this size, by the way. The Efficient is three inches long, just my perfect size. And I love a forward choil because you can choke up. Remember with all of these knives, they come sharp, <laughs> okay? <laughs> first thing I did was buy, <laughs> the first thing I did was buy a Persistence, this knife, and then the next thing I did was buy a box of Band-Aids. Just be careful. You see everyone flicking open their Spydecos. Oh, I love these knives. <laughs> they are... <gasps> oh, they're my first. You never forget your first. You just don't. Screw what people tell you. By the way, that's... I'm screwing everything up. That's the Tenacious, by the way. This is the persistence. <laughs> Sorry. I always get everything messed up. And then I have three of these. <laughs> the little baby ambitious, just because I loved it so much. Remember, all of these can be bought. You don't have to go to, you know, Blade HQ or some fancy, fancy place. You can, but you can also pick these up on Amazon. Every one of mine I bought from Amazon. I didn't know about all those other places. I bought three of these. Some of them even come in blue and brown, different colors. And then my last one was the biggie. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to my resilience. 4.3 inch blade. Again, This is first impressions though on the Polestar. BD1 steel, this wonderful gray G10 with like a grid on it. 3.3 inch blade, just a real nice starter or finisher. Even if you're a collector, these are the knives you get. I beat mine up a lot, I just love them. That is, the current lineup of Spydeco's value folders. 
And this is my first impressions of the brand new Spydeco Polestar. You guys have a great day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.